Hello everyone, Cassie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. I am going to be sharing the Simon Hurley Create release with you today. Really excited about it. The release actually happened on the 14th, which was four days ago. I was um, out in California helping my in-laws celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary. That was a whirlwind and it, it just, yeah, it happened so quick. I, yeah, I'm, I'm still recovering. You could probably hear it in my voice. I got a little sick while I was there and it was just so fast. But anyway, so I apologize for not having a video out on the day that it got, or it came out. The package showed up like the day before I left. I thought I'd have time, but I didn't. So it is a bunch of things. I'm sure some of you have already seen it. And if you haven't, we'll go through it. I don't have samples yet to share, but hang around because I will I mean, there's so many cute things in here and I do want to use all of it, but, um, and I've got lots of ideas because I was thinking about them while I was gone, of course. Um, so yeah, stick around. We'll, we'll make, we'll make some samples. Let's start with the stencil that was released. This is our stencil. This is called Flip Flop Circles. I saw Simon use this a couple different ways. Uh, if you check out his Instagram, I mean, obviously if you're checking this out, Simon Hurley Create is not new to you. If it is, there's there's some fun stuff. So this is how it is, and it works great because obviously since it's a stencil, you can do back or front. So he was, you know, doing it this way, and then he'd flip it and do it this way. You can off center it a little bit. You can line it up so it's a full circle. Um, but it's a really great little stencil. So I think it has a lot of possibilities. I like that he has one of these out. I have ideas. All right, next up, because we've got fall, we're gonna do some of the background stamps, okay? This first background stamp, oh, I just love this. It's floral borders and it's four piece. And so you've got four different borders and they all look a little bit different, which is what I really like about them. Um, isn't that beautiful? And they're red rubber. We all know red rubber just stamps beautifully. I'm excited to play around with this one also. I feel like that one could be kind of springy. I mean, you can make you can make these two kind of springy, but definitely definitely more fall vibes from that. Then we have uh, Wings and Things, a peel apart background, which has your butterflies, your little acorns and leaves and like little sunflower pieces, other sweet little florals you got a dragon a couple dragonflies in here and the dragonflies and the butterflies all peel out of there so i think that's super fun you can make those different colors if you want it or leave the background just as it is so you have options there another cling mount rubber stamp is the leaf prints and this one has dyes to match so i know this isn't a background but oh I'm excited about these because they look kind of, not sketchy, but they look distressed, which is so cool. And I saw Simon doing some like spritzing with water on these, um, but you can make the, you could turn it like the way you arranged it, you could make it a background or the separate pieces themselves. And plus with your, your die cuts, I think that really gives you some options. So excited to play around with that one. All right, then we have a couple of full sets here for fall. We've got this one. This one is called Fall Sampler, and it's so pretty. It's like two-step stamping. Well, it is two-step stamping. You've got your solid, almost solid image, and you've got several of those. You've got some, like four pumpkins, you've got a ghost, and two bats. And then you have the little flowers that will fill in those uh, spaces in between. So you can do two-tone stamping there, two different two different colors if you'd like, or however you'd like to do that. But I just think that's really sweet. And your sentiments say, you're fantastic, here for the booze. <laughs> I'm beyond, and then you could say happy, grateful, thankful. You got happy, and you could say Thanksgiving, happy Halloween. For all you do, you are such a blessing in my life. Hey, pumpkin, so and for you. So lots of great um, sentiment ideas there. And then the images are wonderful. And then we also have matching dies to go along with this. But I wanted to point out <clears throat> that along with that, along with those matching dies for your pumpkins and things, 
You also have these sweet, fun little faces. So if you just wanted to stamp your pumpkins or even just cut your pumpkins out using the die cuts uh, and then have their faces, you have, you have some choices. I just think they're so cute. So yeah, very excited to play along with this one as well. Okay, and I sort of, I don't wanna say save the best for last as far as stamps go, but I say the one that I love the best for last. <laughs> it's called Perfect Cats. And you have so many different cats in here. You got fluffy ones, you've got spotted ones, thin ones, little black ones. Uh, you could do a Sphinx. You, of course, my favorite, the Siamese. And I'm so excited to play with that. Uh, and then you have all these cute little things that can go along with it. Butterflies, little fun toys, string. And then you've got lots of great sentiments. Meow, you doing? I need you. How, you're how old? You've got to be kitten me. Stay positive, meow. You're perfect. Have a mice day. Love you. You're one cool cat. Hope your birthday is perfect, and I hope you're in every one of my nine lives. And then, of course, we have some matching dies for all of our cats. Not only all of our cats, but also the little pieces as well. So this is such a fantastic set. I'm not going to line all of those up, but oh, you know I have to play with this one. And I'm just, I'm so excited. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, so I'll pack this one away, and then we do have one more thing to share. All right, and last up is a lunar paste. This one is the Refined Copper. If you are new to lunar pastes, I don't know. You got, you're gonna have to check it out. Um, but here I've already swatched it out onto some white and onto some black, and you can see, or you know, obviously I have other lunar pastes. I have a ton of lunar pastes. Oh, where's my, my book shows you. The other lunar paste that we have on white and black, and then we even have some solar pastes on white and black as well. But <clears throat> that refined copper is a fabulous addition to our line of lunar pastes, and I'm excited to do some fun stuff with that too. And you can, I mean, it really looks quite beautiful with the purple for sure. So the crown me. Um, so imagine the fall cards that you can make with that. All right, so there you have all of the new stuff that I have. And I'm sure a lot of you have already checked a lot of these things out. Now, if there's something specific you want me to work with first, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section down below. What are you most excited about? I wanna hear all the things. All right, everybody, stay tuned because hopefully within a few days, I will have a video out for you sharing some new things using this release. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.